we need a repackaging of the content of our educational program. We need a repackaging. For instance, by common sense, we know that knowledge is key to having our problem solved. You have a wristwatch problem. You don't go for a bicycle repair. You look for someone with a working knowledge of repairing wristwatches. You want to make a dress, you don't go to a lumber. What do you call it? <laughs> okay, now listen, you don't go to a carpenter. Because <laughs> I'm yet to be able to twist my tongue <laughs> to the frequency you are operating on. You need a motor mechanic to fix your car. Not a brake layer. So you find problems are ordained to be solved by knowledge. That's why universities are supposed to be problem solving centers. Where public, private, industry, commerce, will be consulting for their issues. But is that what we have today? Everything living contributes to stay alive. You can't, the question is, and we agree with your qualification. Where is your contribution? That's a big question. I've never seen people like my own people who will go to read a course and not know why they are doing it. They won't know why. What's happening to you? I'm going to read. I'm going for masters. Masters in what? Yes. Okay. What do you intend to do with it? Um, just to have masters. Your life. Two years. Uncalibrated. Wasted. It's only this part of the world you see that. I met one of my own people who was out here to do <laughs> PhD in water engineering. And I said, come, come on now, what do you intend to do with it? What's your mission? Where are you making your contribution? He said, leadership. Is that water engineering leadership? <laughs> I told him to start going home. I believe we must have to review our course content, make them relevant to industry, commerce, and the public sector. We must review. For most part, we just stay with what the colonial masters left. We are so afraid to come, come aside it. We are so afraid. So when Covenant was going to start, it was built on a drastic departure drastic departure. You can't discover new islands if you're not willing to lose sight of the shore. A drastic departure. Things are not working. Must we keep watching them? No. We must have to develop faster ways of learning because time is fast running out on our generation as a people. Lest we suffer the extinction of the historical dinosaurs, we must develop faster ways of learning. I recently came up with a concept of modular writing. What I mean is, instead of having a chapter without head or tail for 25 pages, break it down to point. Readers want to take notes, so give them the notes. They won't have to scramble. Up until 1451, the Bible had no verses. But can you imagine, for God's sake, the book of Moses from Genesis to Deuteronomy? No verse, no chapter. It makes learning disturbing. 
can't make reference. And that informs the modular concept I'm engaging in my latest materials. You check treasures of life, they're in modules. Modules, no chapter, nobody tie you to it. You can devise something that will help people. So when you get at it, you can paint the point. We're just coming out with a new book, Leadership Ideology, A Covenant Perspective. It's in modules. So you don't have to run around and read. You know, I read a few things. And some of the materials I read, you will read 20 pages and have five points. The stories are too much. But what we need are the points. We must develop faster ways of learning. So without that, we run out of time. We run out of time in no time. It's time, I said here, yeah, to reconstruct our intellectual armory and take up intellectual arms that we turn our educational institutions to solution centers. Solution centers, which government and industries will be consulting for solutions to the issues of concerns. I think by now we should understand that Africa has no political solution to our problems. No. It's time to seek the alternative. We must open up solution centers that will command the attention of the public and private institutions on various matters. Someone once said, the empires of the future shall not be built by stone walls, brick and mortar, or armor tanks. The empires of the future shall be empires of the mind. Because until something changes within us, nothing will change outside us. Sir, there is no software solution. We need to engage the brainware. Brainware, we need... Hard brainware, hard brainware. So we need it. I think our university should become like engineering workshops where we program and deprogram the intellectual content of young people for productive and value adding life. And those who will not take technology today must end up on our beach tomorrow, as we saw in that lecture. With glory to Jesus, there is zero funny input in the funding of Covenant and Landmark University. Zero. We have been long intellectually apologetic enough it's time to take full responsibility in the rest of the issues concern, confronting us as a people. The knowledge market is domiciled in the free trade zone of life. Every tested and proven knowledge product has a place there. Who will read it? The first is, have you written it? I can read the words you have not written. Must anybody have to validate how you are solving your problems? They are not in your problem, you are in it. We came up with hard and fast rules to remodel the life of young people. It's not lack of education, but lack of the right kind of education. And it's paying off. These are the do's and the don'ts. The only time to get that done is when you are just growing up. Before the evil days come, you say, I have no pleasure in them. 